Hey YouTube, this is KQ646 and welcome to the Gaming Computer Enthusiast channel. Please do subscribe to the channel. And today's video is the topic for all you AMD users out there are using MSI Afterburner 2.1. And I know you guys are trying to figure out how to do the overclock settings. And I know it, the MSI Afterburner 2.1 has a limitation on it. So I'm going to show you how to actually resolve that issue. And what I want you to do is download the MSI Afterburner 2.1. This does not work for better, so please do keep that in mind. And once you do that, I would recommend installing MSI Afterburner to whatever uh, destination drive that you have. And once you do that, I would not want you to actually start up the program yet, okay? What I want you to do is go to my computer and whenever you, when you install this program I will allow I want you to actually go into the in the drive locate it whatever where you put it it's gonna be in a folder that says afterburner which is located here now you're gonna see a file that says MSI afterburner is a CFG file okay now it might not allow you to actually edit so what I want you to do is open with and notepad okay and once you open it with notepad you don't see the ETI ADL HAL now you might not see an able unofficial overclocking so you're gonna have to copy and paste this whole entire line here and I'm gonna leave all this information in the description below the, in the video so keep that in mind so do please copy and paste from the description below but it does say Unofficial overclocking one, but unofficial overclocking EULA, it says I confirm that I'm aware of the unofficial overclocking limitations and fully understand that MSI would not provide me any support on it. That's what you have to copy and paste. Okay, and unofficial overclocking mode would be on one as well, and the accessibility check in period would be on zero. So all this would be copy and paste. Okay, guys, don't, don't worry about it. I got you covered. And once you are done with this, I recommend it, save it as. You're gonna leave it as MSI Afterburner, but you're gonna save it to your documents. So you click your documents, and you wanna save it as, okay? Once you're done with that, I want you to go back into the MSI Afterburner folder and delete the original MSI Afterburner CFG file, or remove it, okay? Once you do that, I want you to go back to you into your documents, copy or paste or drag it to the MSI Afterburner folder. And once you are done with that, do not start up Afterburner just yet. What I want you to do is go to your CCC, go to Performance, go to AMD Overdrive, uncheck Enable Graphics Overdrive. If you don't uncheck that, you're going to run into a problem where you cannot overclock the car with MSI Afterburner to your liking. So please uncheck the box, apply to the settings, and once you are done, start up Afterburner. And once you start up Afterburner, and see, I'm not sure if you can see my overclock, but my overclock out of my 5850 is at 1 gigahertz, and my memory core is at 1300. So this helps you, but before you can do all that, I do want you to make sure that the safety property is here. I want you to check, unlock voltage control, unlock voltage monitoring, okay? That's what you want to do, okay? And before you start overclocking, okay? So keep that in mind, guys. These are, this video is only meant for AMD users that are using MSI Afterburner. This could work with uh, NVIDIA cards as well, but uh, it depends on the limitations on the NVIDIA cards, so keep that in mind. Well, this is KQ646, and I'm glad that I can help you guys, you AMD users out there with the MSI Afterburner 2.1. So please do subscribe to my channel, and please stay tuned for more videos to come.